Hey everyone, Luis Fausto here. And today I want to introduce a new form of content that I want to create. Uh, it's a micro podcast. So what's the difference between a micro and just a regular podcast? Well, I don't want to waste too much of your time. So I'm going to keep this under hopefully five minutes, five to seven minutes is a goal. And the concept is very simple. So this is going to be a lot of different topics here, whether it's crypto tech or just kind of um, some, I don't want to say motivational, but kind of my thought process and certain things about life. But that being said, today we're simply, or today I'm simply going to go over a little bit about some tweets that I tweet, right, on a daily basis or whenever I'm active and kind of expand on it. So for instance, if I tweet something that's, you know, given the character count that Twitter gives me, now that it's like 4,000 characters, I could tweet longer, but I think it's better to show face and to kind of expand that way you could kind of see me and get a better sense of how I think, right? And um, that being said, a lot of it's obviously very opinionated. Um, so take everything with a grain of salt. And as always, this, things are subject to change. So that being said, let's dive in. So today I wanna to go over a tweet that I tweeted today. Um, and it goes like this, crypto makes sense for a lot of people around the world, but that can't be the only value prop. Some may not even know why it makes sense. Next time we talk about onboarding, we should think about what the goal really is. Is it freedom? Is it wealth? Is it a new system? Now, look, I I've been in the crypto space for some time now. Um, and one of the things that's always been like the narrative, especially since there's always an influx of people coming in, is obviously onboarding. Onboarding, you know, is simply more people using the applications, more people using networks, uh, more people using the different things, and obviously more people building more products on top of this crypto thing we always talk about, which is blockchain. Now, my concern with onboarding is that a lot of people mix it up with brand awareness or the virtue signal doing so. What I mean by this, not everyone does this. Um, obviously, education is such a big part, right? I'm part of that, as well as many other people in the space that I've come across. And each demographic, I think, should educate that specific demo in, in a different manner, right? So obviously, me being a first-gen Latino, people in Latin America may learn differently or may understand a concept way differently than someone who's a first-generation in the States, for instance, right? So I just want to get that clear that onboarding needs to be a little bit more intentional. Too many times I think of people like saying like, oh, how people create wallets. Well, I'm sure uh, there's data out there. I, I, I don't know the data, but I'm sure there is. How many dead wallets or unused wallets are out there? Like, Wallets should not be a metric of onboarding, in my opinion, because there's no activity going on. There's no there's no clear metric to see if people are actually using applications or that this wallet actually exists for the purpose of being here. That's debatable, obviously, because I know a lot of people create different wallets for different purposes, but I just don't think that um, creating a wallet, my, my point here is I don't think just creating a wallet or helping someone doing so is onboarding. I think what we should focus on when we talk about onboarding is the psychological shift that happens in a user, right? Now, that's why I asked the questions at the end. Is it freedom? Is it wealth? Is it a new system? You ask a lot of people, some people will say that I don't like the current system that we have in play, right? Um, it's kind of an anarchy mode that you go into. Some people are trying to create a new form of wealth. Perfectly fine. I think too many times in the crypto space, if we talk about like, oh, I'm here for the money, that we demonize them. That's perfectly fine. As long as there's an ethical way of doing so, you can make a crazy amount of money here doing flips, whether with NFTs or a crazy trade. I've met some people who made some wealth here and they don't make, it doesn't make them bad people. They came here, they got their money and they're still here, right? And it's a freedom. Most of the time, I think the biggest like blanket statement is decentralization. I think we get too convoluted in that sense because I don't think we're ready as humans to be decentralized because some people do need control. I mean, I talked to Augustine a lot about this and funny story when we were at Miami he, he said that man bro I saw someone using like eight or ten paper towels after they washed their hands and I thought to myself man we're not ready for decentralization and I asked him what do you mean by that he's like bro like that's poor awareness like you don't need that much and I, you know you could debate and see what he meant by that but I, I, I understood what he's trying to say is that some people just don't have the capacity to maybe not be decentralized right but I just think that Onboarding should be focused more on, obviously, first start with your demographic, who you're talking to, why it matters, and really focus on the psychological shift that occurs, right? Because at the end of the day, you cannot hold someone's hand. You can't hold someone's hand for a long period of time. At, at one point, especially in crypto, you have to let go of the training wheels and actually be self-sovereign, meaning you have to guide yourself because too many times in this space, 
if we really want that decentralization that we dream about, it's so easy to point the finger when things go bad. I lost money because of that. I lost money because of that influencer. I lost money because of this. But it's never because I lost money because I messed up. But when things are good, it's always like, oh, see, you should have listened to me, man. Like I told you to invest in Bitcoin. I told you to invest in Ethereum. And I think there's a problem with that because they always say like when it's green, everyone's the smartest investor in the room. But when it's red, everyone wants to point the finger to who did what. And I listened to this person, blah, blah, blah. So I think we have a long ways to really understand what onboarding really means. But we can start now to uh, be very intentional within our communities uh, of our liking and also just really start thinking about those questions and adding more questions to that list aside from freedom, wealth and creating a new system. Uh, because I'm a crypto enthusiast. I want this here. I want this to be here long term. I want other pe people to experience it. And I think in order to do that, we need to be patient. We need to be smarter in the way we value, we deliver the value prop, not just how many gains you can make, but simply how, what does it mean? Like you learn about economy, learn about sociology, learn about psychology, learn about math, like what, that all those things make up crypto. So starting to think about that a little bit more and you know, that's kind of what I meant with that tweet. It can't be the only value prop that it makes sense. It, it needs to be tangible for people to experience and make sense where it's like, oh, this new system is better than the old system. Uh, in this case, traditional financial markets and traditional financial products. Um, but yeah, that's kind of like my little, I don't know what you want to call it, a rant or explanation of this tweet that I made. And, um, yeah, I think uh, uh, I got to be better uh, and I got to contribute to that. So thank you for watching. If you like that, please make sure to subscribe and let me know other topics or any other things that you like to be discussed in this episode, in this series, if you will, because uh, it's going to be a little bit about everything. Uh, I might be up here talking about fatherhood one time. Um, I might be up here talking about different tech. AI is booming right now. Um, so let me know what you're interested in. I hope you like this take. Um, again, I'm not here for you to agree with me. I invite you to disagree and I invite you to share your opinions, your insights and uh, challenge one another, obviously with respect. And uh, that being said, guys, I'll see you next time.